I would like to talk about the language. Um, I see the process of how the language is being lost in my community. Um, there's a process that it went through where from children have a fluent language as a childhood to no language speaking children. Um, when the languages was strong in the community, it there's no worry from elders and that or anybody in the community that worries about the language loss because it is, it is strong. But as time go on, with all the changes that's happening in the communities with the technology and all that, our language was drifting away without, without us knowing what is going on. It drifted off where it got to the point where the kids are not speaking the language at all. And if the language is disappearing, we are losing our culture too. And we basically, it sort of just sneaks away because we were, we, were, we are not aware of it going away. Um, it got to the point till we realized that, hey, where's our language? How come the kids don't understand us? And if you see the big picture of what, what it is, it's the technology and all the social media and all that is the one that's stealing our language. All the programs that they have are in are in English, therefore they're learning the English more than what we're teaching them about our culture that we neglected to do because we we're so worried about it. Hey, we need to be like them in order for us to function in in uh, the society. But along along the way, we are giving up our identity. We are no longer care about who we are, where we're going, or where we've been. And um, so our identity is disappearing. We are assimilated. We, we want to live like how the rest of the society are living, but that's not ours. So we need to go back and be proud of how we survive in being the Dene people how we can retain our language, how can we retain our our culture, our tradition, our way of life, our livelihood. We didn't have very much in the old days like we do now, but remembering how I grew up and how I was brought up and taught was more important to me now. Because like everybody else, like I was aiming for the greener grass on the other side. But all along, the, the grass was greener on my side other than I was leading the wrong path. You know, I was not leading, I was going on the wrong path which I thought was better than mine. But it, but now I realize that I was walking away from my way of life, my identity, 
I was walking away from who I was, who I am. And uh, all along, I should be proud of where I came from, how my ancestors survived, how they made a living with not very much to, not very much, but it was more than what we are thinking about now. Because while we are struggling to be like the rest of the society, what we have back in the old days was happiness, teamwork, sharing, and people, like like they say in the old days, the, everybody raised a child, the whole community raised a child. That's how it was and that's how I remember. And we don't have that now. And that's something we need to go back and think about and be proud of how we were, how our identity was. So that's what I would like to say about that. The education program should base on the cultural values, the knowledge of our, our identity, the knowledge of, of who we are. Education should be based on that and not to be imposed on the other culture shouldn't be imposed on us. Because what we knew, what we learned, and where we were is who we are. And our thinking is like that. Our actions are like that. That's just who we are and other cultural value shouldn't be imposed on us because our our knowledge of who we are is as important as anybody else's in this whole world so that's what i think about and language and culture go hand in hand we cannot separate them and that's our identity as a denison Sleeping first nations like I say, we need to go back. We need to find out who we are or who we were. And we are the Dene people. We are the Dene people. How we lived, how we survived, and how we lived off the land. We need to go back and find it again and be proud of who we are. So I would like to see in the future is to have that back as a nation, as a Dene nation. We need to find ourselves and learn our own values, how how we see life, our, our, our world view of us. I think it would be important that the education based on our knowledge. Um, even me at this age, I lost some of what our set, our ancestors did. And from me to my kids, they lost some too. Until it got to my grandchildren, where they don't have no knowledge of our culture, our language, of who we are, of our stories. They don't have it. Like, I really like to see our Dene be proud of who they are again. And our values were important as anybody else's. Uh, 
our thinking, our tradition, our way of life would, is important. So I would like to see education programs based on our lifestyle. And then from there we can elaborate and education should be like everything else with no imposition. There should be a barrier removed between the First Nations and other cultures. That's what I would like to see.